Oh, Mom, I don't want to stay with Aunt Steve. Oh, calm down, sweetheart. It's only for two weeks while your father and I are in Tahiti. Can I just stay home? I'll be fine there. Oh, honey, don't be silly. You're way too young. Plus, Aunt Steve could use some help on the farm. You'll have fun. But... Bye! Oh, uh, yeah, I, I could go for some bacon, I guess. <laughs> Homesickness. Something we've all probably felt at one point or another. Whether you had to stay at a relative's house for a little while, you're going off to college, or you're 10 years old being sent off to fellowship camp for a week even though you said like a million times that you didn't want to go, chances are it's something we've all experienced. For those of you about to march your first season of drum corps this summer, it may be a concern you're having. You're gonna be away from home for two or three months doing something that you're not used to at all, and it's totally understandable to be a little nervous about that at first. But here are some ways you can stay connected to friends and family during the summer and calm your nerves about homesickness. If you're able to have your phone through the summer, use that to your advantage. Give mom and dad a call once in a while, text your friends, tell them how you're doing, and ask how they're doing. Now, I don't mean do this every time you're not rehearsing. You should use that time to bond with your section and your other core members. But times like before lights out, use that time to send a couple of texts back home. Honestly, I kept my phone calls home to be like a once a week thing when I marched. That's just me. And if you get the chance, post a picture on Facebook every now and then. Let people know that you're having a good time and that you're not dead. But again, I personally don't recommend making this an everyday thing since there's probably other things you could be doing. But if you have the opportunity, it is a good idea to use it. Your friends and family can also send you some cool things during the summer through the mail, whether it's just a letter or a care package filled with some snacks and other cool things. I'll have a video up a little bit later that goes further into detail about care packages, but I can say for a fact that core marchers absolutely love getting things in the mail. Like seriously, it brightens our day so much. To sum up shortly, care packages are usually filled with non-perishable food items, Gatorades, maybe a letter or a message, basically things that won't go bad or melt if they're left on a hot bus for a little while. Cores will also provide mailing instructions, addresses, and dates as the season progresses. There aren't always going to be times where you can have your phone, especially if you're in a core or a section that has a no phone policy. Chances are, a big reason for this is so that when things get tough, or if you ever just have social time, you talk to each other. You may be really missing your family back home, but for the time that you're on the road, the people that you're marching with are your new family. If there's an issue you're having, or if you're just feeling down about something, you can talk to any of them about it. This isn't even just limited to other members. Maybe it's someone on staff, an admin, or a volunteer. Speaking of which, your parents will be able to be in contact with the staff in case there is some kind of emergency, so don't sweat about that. Being away from home for a while can be scary for some of us, but you can rely on the people who are working hard around you to help you out. And one last thing, you're in a drum corps. You're gonna go on tour and perform at a bunch of different places. That's exciting. Okay, there may be times where you think, oh man, I wanna go home, I wanna be in my bed. But think about it, if you were at home, what would you be doing? Probably sitting on the couch, watching Netflix, regretting not marching. When you're in move-ins and it sucks, keep in mind that there are lots of people at those audition camps who would love to be in your place right now. You may miss home and things may suck really bad sometimes, but embrace it. Embrace the suck. Now before we're done, I'm going to cover one more question that I get a lot that kind of relates to this topic. I have a girlfriend or boyfriend back home. How do we handle this while I'm on tour? Well, you see, I've never been in that kind of situation in all my years of marching. And this wasn't really something I planned on making a specific video for, but I asked around and I may be able to offer some advice. Basically, don't lose sight of what your relationship means to you. Is it going to be tough? Very. But don't let the stress or commitment affect how you treat your significant other. If you have that kind of care and trust that's strong enough, they'll be okay with the fact that there may be one or two days where you won't be able to talk to each other at all. It may seem like the one who's on tour is making things difficult sometimes, but you gotta understand that they are indeed very busy. And the thing they need most is your support, just as if you were still physically together. If you have the chance, you can always come see your partner at a show or even volunteer with the core for a little bit. And when it gets down to it, the time that you're apart is only temporary. At most, three months. That's really not a lot of time. So as long as you're willing to put in the trust and patience, you'll be fine. And that's about it. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video, you guys. I hope it's helpful for those of you going into your first year of marching. I think you guys pretty much know the drill by now. Vets, leave a comment telling any advice you have for rookies about homesickness. And I know not everybody experiences homesickness in their first summer, but it's a video that was requested a lot and something I went through in my first summer. So... 
couple quick things. I'm going to be at the WGI Spartanburg Regional this weekend with Atlantic Quest Indoor Drumline. If you're going to be there, leave a comment with what group you're in. Come check us out in the lot when we perform, and I'd love to meet some of you guys too. I'll we'll have some JD Funko wristbands if you'd like to buy one. $3 cash in person or $4 with your credit card. And if you're not going to be there, you can still buy my wristbands from my online store. I'll have the link for that in the description. The funds from which go straight to my WGI fees, which by the way, I'm almost done with. And if you'd just like to make a straight donation, the link to my GoFundMe is also in the description. If you haven't already, check out the collab videos I made with my good friend Orin a little while ago. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now Tumblr. Oh yeah, I have a new Tumblr. I have a new Tumblr. Forgot about that. Yeah, hit me up on all of those, but be sure to follow me on Tumblr now. I'll be posting videos there as well. You can ask me stuff, or blog stuff, and... Yeah. I hope everyone's WGI seasons are going well, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe.